Let's go ahead and start out here with the Sapphire Adjust category and the Hue Saturation Brightness Filter. Now, this does exactly what you would think it would do. It will allow you to tweak your hue, saturation, and brightness in your image. Um, this is very similar to what you can do with the Avid Color Correction tool, um, but in color correction mode, you've got a lot more control. Hue, saturation, brightness is a great filter for just applying a quick and dirty color correction to your clips um, that you can save in your bin and just use over and over again. And while yes, you can do this with the um, color correction tool. What's important about hue saturation brightness is later on when we get to the builder and you're using the sapphire builder to create your own custom effects, if you want to do any kind of internal color correction within those custom effects, hue saturation brightness is going to be the one that you want to use. Um, let's just go ahead and grab this and drag it onto a clip. You can see this uh, footage here is a little bit flat, a little washed out, um, and I'll go into my effect editor. You'll see that the controls are actually very simple. Hue shift, saturation brightness, Let's bump up that saturation a little bit and we'll uh, maybe offset our darks, give us a little bit more contrast, just a hair more brightness there. I like the way that looks good. You can just see what the hue shift will do for us if we like it or not, just a little bit. Perfect. And you can click preserve luma. This, what this will do is this will actually preserve the luma values in the image so that um, it remain, it'll maintain a more consistent look with the original footage, so I usually like to click Preserve Luma. And then I'll go ahead and drag this from my effect editor into my bin so I can save it and use it later on. So when I get to my next clip here, it's very simple. I'll just drag it over onto that clip, and presto, all done.